So this uh, podcast we have started uh, in the beginning of 2021, or I would say at the beginning of the zodiac year of 2021 in the sign of Aries. And every four weeks we are traveling through together with the moon through the lunation cycles and reflecting upon each of the zodiac signs and how um, they may convey us information that serves us to keep us healthy and to be more integrated, to learn how to live a healthier and happier life. So thanks for joining. Thanks for being there. And my intention is that these podcasts will keep on growing, answering questions that may benefit you, giving you sharing information, sharing my experience um, that may serve uh, others, that may, that may guide, that may stimulate others to also go into a healing path and learn and use astrology as a roadmap to live healthier and and hap- and happily. So welcome to this episode and we are today in the sign of Cancer following the new moon in Cancer that, that uh, presented to us last week. So this is our second episode on the sign of Cancer. And last time we saw that Cancer has to do with the first water sign in the zodiac. So it has to do with emotions. So we talked a lot about our feelings and how uh, we let our emotions guide us or how much we listen to our emotions or or how much we ignore them and we live more from a, our mental point of view. <clears throat> so today I would like to reflect upon another uh, of the facets of uh, the sign of cancer and I do like this because every time I explain a, a zodiac sign I visualize this diamond with all these facets and we're talking about the same diamond, but from the different viewpoints. So this is the way astrology um, helps us and it, it trains us to develop this holistic eye, where we can see that the parts are just reflecting the part of, of, of a bigger uh, self or of a bigger uh, entity. So the same type of perception we apply to anything we study. So the sign of cancer, we don't study it like in a linear way, but we try to look at all the facets that uh, this sign presents to us. And today I would like to reflect upon and to share um, some comments about the sign of cancer and its, uh, its representation of the, of the, the big mother of the of 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 the great mother and um, being connected to the moon as a as a ruler sign of of the sign of cancer so moon great mother and our bigger mother which is our home our personal home but also our the home the earth that is the home to all of us and this uh, concept of home it's a very dear to me and I have been reflecting upon it through the years as I uh, was born in Argentina but lived uh, quite a few years, uh, about eight years in the United States and then um, almost nine years (coughs) in Switzerland before I came back home and at some point of my life I was wondering okay so where, where is home? You know I'm living in this country but I was not born here, my family is in Argentina and my friends are half here, half there. So w- what is home? And uh, this recalls uh, to me some some artists that have reflected upon this or authors uh, like Luther Vandross that has a, a song that uh, says uh, uh, a house is not a home. So uh, many times our, even our own house is not where we feel at home. Um, and uh, there's another, there's a book, uh, I think it's about kavat who says um, home is where you are. And I think this is the definition of home that I have been uh, keeping in my heart, uh, more close to my heart. Home is where you are. And where you are, meaning not where you are physically, but where you are uh, dearly in your, in your heart. 
where your uh, where your friends are, where your family are is, or also where where you feel at home. And this um, sensation of feeling at home for me has to do a lot with the 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 qualities of the moon. Uh, the moon in in astrology is that. Um, is that uh, a planet that uh, tells us it's not really a planet, but uh, we call them um, this this corpse, this uh, uh, place where we feel, where we feel secure, where we feel nurtured, where we feel protected, and this is for me the meaning of home. So a lot of times in my consultations, I ask people, so, so where is it that you feel at home? Can you feel at home in your own house, in your own home, with your family? How is the climate in your home? Is, it, is there a place and a time that you can feel at home, that you can really go to that place and that space where you feel at home? And many times nowadays, uh, people are living so stressed uh, not only at their jobs, but at their homes. And let's say that this also exacerbated with pandemia and having to live sometimes in very closed spaces and being uh, confined to their homes for a long time. So this uh, co-living becomes a very difficult, very challenging issue. And sometimes it's difficult to find that moment of peace, of feeling really relaxed, really able to to be who I am without having to uh, to react or to reflect or to act upon anything just feeling like I'm safe and relaxed and I can be as I am and sometimes people don't find this even in their own homes and this is this is an issue for health mm, we we always say that in, in this integrative view of medicine, we cherish the concept that the body has an intelligence on how to heal itself, just as the body knows how to heal a wound, if you have a wound in your skin, and the body knows exactly how to mount an immune response in order to clean up any possible infection and then to, to produce a... a uh, to close the injure and and produce a wound then uh, and heal the wound the the same body has an immense intelligence how to recover from other other traumas or other infectious diseases etc uh, even in cancer uh, i mean we have part of our immune system is capable of mounting what we call a cellular response in order to either repair through the DNA repair mechanisms or eliminate the cancer cells. But uh, in order to be able to perform this very intelligent and very sophisticated type of responses, the body or ourselves have to be uh, in, we have to have the conditions for that to be, for that intelligence in, uh, to be able to emerge. And this is part of the healing path, is giving ourselves the conditions, the conditions of feeling safe, of feeling relaxed, of feeling at ease, of feeling at home. For me, this is, this is the, the sensation I have when, when we say coming home. Hmm? And sometimes we get there when we, when we meditate, or after a yoga or during and, and at the end of a yoga class uh, or any, any of these practices when we go to some type of sound therapy or, or crystal therapy or some type of vibrational therapy and we get to that place where we feel at home. But today, th these days, it, it is a challenge to find the, that, that space, that time and it is important that we find it in, during our daily activities and not that it's a once in a while type of thing 
that uh, okay once a month I go to have this this treatment or, or this therapy it's important that we find ourselves home coming back home on an everyday basis and this is our internal home and for us to be able to find that internal home a lot of times we have to have a physical home where we can relax and be respected and be left alone for a little while and be and feel safe and protected so that's our physical home and for that to happen we have to live in a community that also serves us to be able to have our place in that community and our home in that neighborhood and for that if it's like the russian dolls huh? how we see that we we can find our inner home and this is uh, it's even easier if we can find ourselves in if we can find ourselves feeling at home in our own home and are feeling at home in our neighborhood in our nation in our in our mother earth but nowadays our our mother earth or we inhabitants of the mother earth are making this this home not as easy to be or not as uh, safe or not as we we don't feel so safe and protected in it so it's uh, harder for us to find ourselves also at home in our own neighborhoods in our own houses and to find ourselves at home within us so it's important in this conscious life in this uh, seeking to live more consciously to start building up those spaces of feeling at home within us and feeling at home in our own homes and making our home uh, a home for everybody that lives in it and trying to cultivate the qualities of a home where everybody can feel safe and secure and confident and respected and we can share that with our neighbors and make also our uh, neighborhoods feel more safe and protected and so this is something that starts with each one of us on how we can cultivate that feeling of home within us and share it with their loved ones and with those with whom we are in contact. And this is very important in nowadays also because we, this feeling of home has been evolving during this past decades or century where before it was easier to identify oneself with our own country, our own, um, our own culture, our own religion, our own, our own tribe, our own neighborhood, our own family. Family used to be uh, very, um, be kept very much in contact and together and so it was easier to feel at home in a environment that was more uh, attached and non-mobile and non-changing uh, but nowadays where we are when we are living many times we're living away from our family of origin and we are living in another country and getting married to someone from another culture, another country, and yet having children who are living in a country different from where we were raised. And so it's very much different to feel home in, in those circumstances because each of the family members may have uh, different attachments, different nationalities or different uh, cultural attachments. And um, the, so the issue is to cultivate that inner home so we can feel at home wherever we are and wherever wherever and with whoever we are so this this concept of home has been changing th through the last generations and the challenge today is to cultivate that inner home to have that that sense of home within us wherever we are wherever we go So the sign of cancer brings us to reflect upon all these issues 
and also to to cherish to cherish those human connections that make us feel home uh, feel at home so come back not to the to to whatever is seen on the outside but to the inner side of the of the of the relationship huh? not so much to look with whom we relate in order of who is the other person or what profession or where he or she lives but really to to go deeper into the inner connections into the human connections and, and uh, cherish again those human connections that make us feel at home there's nothing like a, a very nice talk with a loved one with a friend looking making eye contact and really being able to express freely what we're feeling inside this uh, these are very precious moments and uh, they strengthen the, the connections and strengthen the the feeling of being at home so i leave you these thoughts to reflect about the concept of home and the sign of cancer and where is it that you find yourself at home where is it do, do you find yourself at home in your own house do you find yourself at home with the people you're sharing your life or where where do you find yourself at home and how how you may cultivate that feeling of home on a daily basis to be able to come back to that space of feeling at home and letting your body have all the conditions in order to have its intelligence emerge and keep you healthy and happier. So I wish you a nice week and I hope that with these reflections it will be uh, another, another mm, guide in your healing path another um, help another something that will guide you that will help help you like a guiding star in your healing path thanks for listening i'm dr laura nasi this is astrology and health in my conscious life podcast and uh, please uh, share or comment or um, stick a light a like if you enjoy this podcast and we'll be seeing each other next week thank you <coughs>